Hi, my name is Ethan Wise, and I work at Concordia Language Villages part-time, and today we're going to learn how to use a slicer. First off, you have all your pieces. You have your guide, your backstop, that adjusts your height, which is on the back side over here, your blade, and um, the, your, your blade cover. Um, the main thing when you're looking at, when you look at a slicer, the slicer is uh, has a big running spinning blade, which is right in here and it's visible on both sides. You want to watch yourself whenever you're cut slicing for this blade and that's the main thing that you're watching for. Um, today we're going to show you how to slice cheeses and meats for cheese trays and meat trays. Um, your adjustment knob for the cheese trays is to, uh, to adjust your cheese and meat sizes right here. Um, your on and off button is right here and your, your guide is right here. This piece right here is important because then you don't put your hand in the way of that blade when you are cutting meats and cheeses. And overall, that is it for how um, it works. We're going to go into how to slice cheeses. We have our cheese already out of the plastic, just bare cheese right here. And we're going to sit it down onto this slide, on, onto this right here. And we're going to put the guide on top like this, we will adjust our knobs to whatever we um, thickness we want. It can actually go up to like an inch thick if you want to, but normally we're cutting cheese for cheese trays, sandwiches, and things like that. So we stay between a zero and a five. So I'm going to start at the five. I'm going to turn on and plug in the slicer. Whenever it, the slicer is not in use, it is always unplugged. So we are ready to go. I'm going to pull the power and it's turned on. You're going to put your hand on top of this handle, the guide, and you're going to push forward and you, know, you, you bring it back and you'll see that we have our first cut of cheese. Usually on the first cut of cheese, um, when it's a new package, you'll have to face the meat or cheese so that you have a nice cut. For this demonstration, we're going to say this is actually a little too thick right here. So we're going to take our knob and we're going to adjust it down to maybe a three. And we're going to recut. And as you can see, that's just a hair thinner. So we're, we want that for our meat tray. So we're just going to keep on going. And when you. And that is how you cut your cheese on the slicer.